Hi, welcome to my cooking series. I'm Sarah Hannum, and this is Breaking Bread with Hannum. Today, we're gonna to be making a butternut squash soup, and tis the season, so the holidays are coming up. It's a good meal to have something warm, something hearty, and uh, you don't feel too full after eating it. So we're gonna start off with a few of our ingredients, and let's go ahead and get this burner going. I'm gonna just add a little bit of olive oil. So I have a little bit of onion. I have some butter, which I'm gonna use a little bit later, garlic and ginger. We have over here some of the squash. So I have butternut squash, which was already pre-roasted. And also another type of squash I found in the store that I also roasted. I'm not actually not sure the name of it, but um, it looked pretty good. So I was like, let me take that too. And then I roasted this one. So we're gonna throw that in there as well. We have some herbs that we're gonna throw into the soup as well. So we have sage, we have thyme and rosemary. Don't mind the cilantro. And then we have some other special ingredients that we'll get to in a little bit, okay? So let's go ahead and add our onion. I left them kind of chunky because I'm gonna blend this anyway, so I just wanted them to get browned and uh, caramelized. Okay. Cook up these onions here. These are browning a little bit. I'm actually gonna throw in a little bit of ginger, just a tad. This is gonna bring out the flavors in the um, soup. So we'll do that. Let's go ahead and throw in some garlic. I love garlic, you know me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all this garlic here and let that all brown together, all right? Oh, the ginger smell is so good. I could just, I can um, really taste the smell of the ginger now. Um, just through my nostrils, you can taste it. So let's let that brown. While that's going, let's take a look at some of the herbs here, okay? So we have some sage, we have some thyme, we have some rosemary. And I like to get it fresh. Um, you could use the dried herbs if you'd like, but I just prefer it to be fresh. Sage smells really good. So we'll throw a couple in there. And that will bring out the flavors in um, the soup as well. So we'll throw a couple in there. Let's throw a little thyme in there. I don't need a lot. And I just throw them in whole, no biggie. We'll use, and we'll use a little bit more of it later. I just kind of want the essence of the flavors to come out. Now, as that's going, I'm gonna add my secret ingredient. We have an apple. <clears throat> um, I usually use like a, a sweeter type of apple, so let's go ahead and cut this. If this was up to my mom, she would be cutting. My mom doesn't use a potato peeler. She she cuts stuff like this, which I I don't know why she does. But I'm like, she's a gang. She's she's old school. She's old school Egyptian. You know they don't have potato peelers in Egypt. But I'm just kidding. So let's go ahead and just cut these up. Just shout out to Fatma. That's my mom. Hey mom. I already, to I already told her I was gonna be cooking with her. I told her, I said, I'm coming over and cooking. She's like, okay. And my mom also, speaking of herbs, she has an amazing herb garden. She has all this stuff in her backyard. Um, so every time I'm over there, I try to grab some herbs from her. Okay, so these are browning a little bit. You see the onions are getting brown. You can turn this down a little bit. All of my cooking skills really came from my mom, my siblings, you know, my sisters. They are really, really good cooks. And that's really where I learned most of my cooking stuff. Um, but my mom is like a top tier chef. Let's go ahead and put some pepper in there. Let's go ahead and put some salt in there. Just to kind of, for taste, to bring the uh, flavors out. Add a little bit of some clove in there. So this is ground clove. I like to just throw it in there. This is what's gonna bring the um, the earthy tones out of the butternut squash. I like to throw, we'll throw a little white pepper in there as well. Okay, just some regular white pepper. Um, some nutmeg. With these herbs, because they are so strong, 
I try to keep it light. And then I will add, um, I'll add to it as need be. Um, you don't want to overdo it because then it will just overpower the soup. Now here's another little secret ingredient. I'm going to add a little bit of brown sugar in here. And so this is going to sweeten it up a little bit. But let's go ahead and mix this all up. You see my apples are getting brown. My onions are pretty caramelized. At the time, the leaves are pretty much coming off of it. So you can um, pull some of them off if you'd like. So for the people watching, I don't know if you guys are uh, dry herb type of people or um, fresh herb, but comment below. Let me know what you use in your recipes. I like to see what other people are doing. I am going to try a little bit of it. Sometimes I just like to know where the flavor is going. So I'm going to try an apple. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about our soup. So let's heat up the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this over here too because I want these um, onions and apple and garlic and all those good herbs to come together with the butter. The butter is gonna take it to the next level in my opinion. Let's go ahead and add our squash in here. So we have our butternut squash. I'm gonna go ahead, it was roasted. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I just went and got the, um, the pre-cut butternut squash. I know it's a little bit more expensive than buying it whole, but um, it's just easier for peeling purposes. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our secondary squash in there. So let's go ahead and add that. That one was also roasted. I just want this. Smells good. All right, so I just wanted to heat it up a little bit. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some chicken broth. For the chicken broth, again, if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can use vegetable broth as well but this is what I had in my cabinet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit. And you can add as you go, okay? So you don't have to put all of it in there, but I just want it to kind of simmer, get some of the juices out of the, uh, the vegetables in here. I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and add a little bit more. It's better to uh, put less and add more and instead of just it's all in there and then you can't go back. <laughs> you can't go back if you have too much of anything. We'll, we'll be adding a little bit more liquid in there and we're gonna be blending this as well. I just kind of want it to simmer a little bit. Um, the coconut milk is also gonna be the added liquid in here. The cream is what is gonna make it thick and that's gonna be also for like a garnish at the very end, okay? So we'll leave these here. I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit. We also have um, some rosemary. So sometimes I like to just throw, throw a rosemary in there. Let's do that, why not? The rosemary is always good and we could take it out later. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add a little bit more of the chicken broth. And I'm gonna let that simmer. I'm gonna add the coconut milk a little bit later. I just kind of want this again to take its course. I'm really excited about the apple being in it. I've never had it with like apple in it. Um, so I'm actually kind of curious to see how this is gonna taste. Let's see. Hmm. So this is this is <laughs> this is a normal Sarah reaction. I'm like, hmm. What else goes into this? Um, needs a little bit more salt. So I'll add a little bit more salt in there. 
And I'm gonna actually add some dry herbs to this too because I need, I want some of the more rustic flavors to come out in this soup. Um, let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna add a little bit more nutmeg in there. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar in it as well. Okay, so let's do that. I have some thyme, I have some ground thyme. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of the thyme in there. I like a combination of both dry and, uh, and fresh herbs. Let's go ahead and add that in there. All right, you see it's simmering. I want to blend this up. I have a hand blender, so I might have to take it over there to do the uh, hand blend. So let's go ahead and come over here. Go ahead and add this coconut milk. Bam. That's gonna set it off right there. Especially because it also is a little sweet, the coconut milk. And this is gonna really just take off. You see the color is now lightening up. I like this where this is going. I like where it's going. So we'll blend it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and try this again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how I'm feeling. I kind of want to take it to like the next level. So sometimes, sometimes I play with herbs and like, I'm not sure what they're going to do, <laughs> but I like to just play with it a little bit. Let's see. I'm really excited about this. This is Make sure you put it on low also, because you want it to simmer. You don't want it to burn the bottom and make sure you keep on churning it so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Okay, so I think we're good for another blend. Let's go ahead and actually put this through my Ninja Blender. I think this will blend it up a little bit better. this back in here. So it's creamy. It looks really good. All right, so I gotta try this. Let's see. That's slamming too. That is slamming. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <laughs> So I added already the coconut milk. If you want, we can add um, a little bit more cream. Make sure it's on low. Don't burn it like me right now. Okay. I might put a little bit in there. Let's see what that does. That looks really good. I make this maybe once a year because then I have like, you know, you have your your fix of like whatever you wanted and then you just don't have it the rest of the year. That's this meal right here. Okay, and we're pretty much done. So I'm going to go ahead and plate it and I'm actually going to blend this, hand blend this a little bit more to get that coconut cream mixed in there and I'll serve it up and we'll be done. So I'm going to, I'm going to plate some for myself. So let's go ahead and get that in there. And so I'm just going to just circle it around. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then let's throw a little rosemary in there. Bam. And I like a little bit of um, some seeds. So whatever seeds you like. There you go, that's it. So here we are done with our butternut squash soup. 
Again, I'm Sarah Hannum, and this is Breaking Bread with Hannum. Thanks again for tuning in. Let's share a meal together.